like it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's good that we all have them now. We should have more. I'm pro nukes. You're pro nukes. Yeah. That's a strong stance. I'm pro nukes, man. It's it's what's keeping peace right now. That people can argue nukes are what keeps peace because now like the next step of war is like you sure you want to do this, bro? No, it is good, but then that happens. What? Then someone's going, you think someone someone's going to? Oh, yeah, step. it's happened. Yeah. I mean, but if it happened now, it's like like we have stuff now. Where, like if a nuke comes, we have something that automatically fires a nuke out of the sky and just chucks a nuke wherever the fucking one came what from. What was that? I'm telling you again, dude. <laughs> we have anti-nuke systems. We're like, we have missiles, dude. <laughs> I thought you said we have nukes. That nuke, the other nuke in we the do. sky. We do. I'm telling you, we have missiles that blow the nuke the in nukes. the sky. Yeah, they're nukes. We nuke the nuke. We do nuke the them. Sky. We nuke the nukes. And then we have a, a, a follow-up nuke that's like, yeah, you think you're going to send a nuke at us? <laughs> and fucking, no, we nuke the nuke. <laughs> we nuke, the, <laughs> nuke the nukers. Lots of nukes going on, dude. That's good. It's like, like a that. big old grab-ass game of nukes. <laughs> Nukes are sick, Love dude. nuclear technology, I dude. can't wait for nukes to start Fuck, man. popping off, dude. Oh, dude, I fucking I'm can't wait. I'm safe down here in this basement. I do fantasize sometimes about, like, a post-apocalyptic world. Or just, like, having to live... Like, if the whole government falters, everything goes down to shit. Sometimes I think, like... As much as people are like, ooh, you say that now. And it's like, I know. I would miss fucking hot water and shit. But fuck, dude. Just roaming around. No one has jobs. The I only just, game is just fucking getting back to your bunker, blasting fucking thieves and pirates. Dude, I mean, I understand you're talking Mad Max, but yeah. when governments falter, you get the Khmer Rouge in Cambodia. You get you Some and your do. family are put in a camp. Some do, but by who? And you're working. I'm not talking, but that's like another just government a gang of popping dudes up. With I'm talking about just it's pure anarchy. I know. That's why I said I know you're thinking like yeah. Mad Max level. Exactly. But fire up a go kart, dude, and blast it across the grass. You're like, what the fuck is that? Hell yeah! I think about that. Or just like rough. riding a horse, like does you just ride a horse? Just get a horse. Get some water. Your day is like make it to the water hole. Get pl- a wa- get some shoot water. a bandit. You gotta water your horse. Yeah, you I got water, shoot dude. A <laughs> this is good stuff. I I'm not gonna lie. Would I you keep about that. Would you keep Ajax with you? He'd be on my fucking compound. I mean, I would team. I would call. I have a big family. I would call. I'd be like calling all cousins, dude. We're going to set up a barbed wire fucking Damn, fence. Damn, you know how hot that would be with all those hot cousins around in your barbed wire fence? I mean, I mean that economy, hot cousins, are like having, that's like your savings account. You'd start getting some trades well, on with me, other compounds. We would clan in Central PA. We could <laughs> barter some cousins. We'd be on the Silk Road, dude. We'd be on the pubic hair road. <laughs> Come up to the Appalachians, dude. We'll give you some cousins. Be the cousin pube road. We'll trade you some cousins. <laughs> That'd be sick if we could barter cousins. That'd be tight. I'd give you a fucking ugly fat Gillis. You'd give me. A, <laughs> I'd barter some cousins for you. I get the boys. The boys would get on. I got Frankie Gillis, dude. Him versus Ajax might be the battle of the century. Oh, that'd be a sick we entertainment. Fight like champions. Everyone would start shaking hands at the elbows yeah, too. Be like, nice. Glad yes. we joined camps. Be like, now send your autistic cousin versus my autistic cousin. <laughs> Frankie would. Fuck shit up, dude. I got to show you this guy. He's I got to see these boys in action, Frankie's dude. Frankie's one of the funniest people ever. I mean, I'd have all the boys out in the yard all day just like lifting rocks and shit, dude. Just preparing for... No, my family my family now is weak. We'd have to join forces with... There's the Connolly brothers. We would join the Connolly <laughs> clan. would unite. We'd have Central PA. We'd have a good post-apocalyptic That'd be a nice plan. stronghold, yeah. That'd be a nice stronghold. We might post up at Three Mile Island. That's See, a good post-apocalyptic chill that's a, sesh. That's the post-apocalyptic the fucking, chill uh, sesh, What are those dude? towers called? The water towers? The the fucking Homer Simpson tanks? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever they're <laughs> we called. Just, we could set up shop right there. Damn, dude. Fuck our cousins. Mutate. We'd all start mutating. <sighs> yeah, you don't wow. get... I think after like... No, yeah, you can't fuck your cousins at all. I was like, maybe you get like one generation. <laughs> that's all you right. Can't fuck, you can fuck your cousins. You can get away with it, but you got the there's a, you got to hide a lot of freaks. Very, uh, you got to hide. Yeah, they, you got to hide a lot of freaks. What the Muslims say? It's very uh, very negligible. It is negligible. Uh, the, the risk of uh, cousin marriage is very negligible. One percent. <laughs> it's like, dude, yeah, that's a lot exactly. of a fucking millions. How many Muslims are there? Twelve hundred. Hold on, how many Muslims? I think there's like two billion. Yeah, you're close. Yeah, two to three, maybe. Uh, three is pushing. They're it. growing too. I think it's like one point eight. Okay, but the Muslim, I think I was thinking that their their population is growing faster than any other they religious subset. Down in Indonesia, they're going maybe popping them out. They're going quick. Yeah, okay. but uh, that would be. I mean, they're definitely. You, you want to talk post apocalypse? You got to crank out some kids. That's the only way. True. That's why those. That's why your loins itch so Damn. bad. We would set up. So we get so horny. I kind of want this to happen now. This is a good idea. It'd be so fun, man. We'd set up shop at Three Mile Island right along the mighty Susquehanna. 
Oh. It would fucking fuel us. Great water source, dude. We'd get so much fish. Oh, man. You get those fucking... F- the fish would be jacked, too. We'd have jacked probably fish. probably sharks in the Susquehanna. There are several sharks. Just catfish that morphed into sharks. In the mighty Susquehanna. <laughs> Gotta watch for those catfish stings, dude. <laughs> This is the podcast. This is the cast. It's like we got to delete the first one. It sucked. Now we're like, you got to go to the Susquehanna. I get <laughs> Dude, I was just kicking around. I was painting a Chinese restaurant, an old Chinese restaurant today. Oh, God. It was so fucking foul, dude. I was literally, I didn't know what the name of it was. And the whole time I'm painting, I get, at one point I thought, I'm like, they'll be sick if this place was called Mouse China. <laughs> 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 the whole day I'm like, dude, I'm so fucking funny. Couldn't tell anyone. I've been waiting all day to say this. You've been re- waiting for that. That's joke. been fucking in my th- my turbo booster all day long. How disgusting was that Chinese restaurant? It was just mouse shit. Like, dude, I, I couldn't even use drop cloths because I didn't want to get mouse shit on them. So I had to like dexter out the room in plastic and just walk around. And as I would like paint like little ledges and bo- I had to just go like pfft, blow mouse shit off. And it was, I'm going to get the Holy hantavirus, fuck. dude. It's disgusting. Do you think that's how Asian people live like that? No, but restaurant wise, yes. I mean, that's, that's what I meant. Do you think that's how they conduct business? I don't know. I was thinking about that's what I was telling you today. I was like, I think if you come right from Chinese, Chinese, yeah, and you open up a restaurant and you see a bug, it's not as like code red as if like you've been yeah. fucking, you know, breathing American oxygen for couple for a couple of generations. True. That freedom gets in you. But then again, I worked at a pizza bugs. place one time. I worked at a pizza place one time. Not going to name names, but. It was pretty fucking nasty. Was it dude. Mouse Central? <laughs> yeah. Is that where you drowned? That's where I had to kill mice every day. That's where you drowned mice and soda. Every day for like three years. Yeah, every, no, for oh, three God. months. What's I wrong can't... with you? How are you going to kill a mouse, dude, that's on a sticky trap? Smash it. With what? Flip the paper upside down and stomp. As I was doing I was A-Town stomping them. <laughs> I, I A-Town stomped the first one. <laughs> and I you, stomp. you, <laughs> you stomp a mouse's head. I was like, man, this That's is sad, fucking. Yeah. You feel that little crunch, that tiny little skull, dude. I love those guys too. I like I them really too. I really like them. I like them too, but it's like, hey, yeah, you gotta get off the stick. And you can't. Everyone's like, oh, we washed them off the sticky trap, dude. You can't. Dude. Those limbs and are their fucking legs are fried. Off. Yeah. yeah, they're totally fucked. You gotta stomp them, dude. You gotta eight pound stomp. <laughs> so then that's when I started drowning them. I, I hold the, I would hold the trap in there and hold them in the cherry wow, coat. They like fucking resist. I didn't look, dude. I did, you could feel that thing fucking wiggling a little bit. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! I wanted to get them in like a tiny little car and put like a floss around their neck and fucking <laughs> soprano them, dude. <laughs> Just be like, we're taking a ride. Don't worry about it. You would put them in the shotgun and <laughs> sit behind them and fucking. Yeah. That'd be sick. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, I was in there all day. Like, God, this place is so fucking foul. That would take it out of me killing mice like that. I would actually dude, be sad. That was the first thing I did in the morning for literally three months. Yeah, and Come you in. were high, right? Most likely, yeah, yeah, for the most of the part. So it's like I'd walk in kind of stoned to work. And th- th- it wasn't like I had a manager as a girl. She wouldn't touch it. She'd be like, oh, my God, ew. And I'd be like, yeah, right. I'm getting, you're getting the big bucks. And here I got to fucking handle matters of life and death, dude. I got to sit here and fucking. You got a fucking you're lowly man, dude. You're henchman, dude. You're the ice man. And then I'd have to cook. So I'd fucking like kill mice and go back in, fire up the grill. I'm like, all right, let's fucking, let's get this going. So they would, when you would hold them in the cherry Coke, you could feel them. You feel that a trap stop wiggling. Yeah, trying to fucking... like, they're probably drinking as much as they could. That is for a mouse, dude. That, I know this is your theory. Is to hit them with the best way to kill them. I mean, for a mouse, dude, they probably just open up their mouths and there's everything. They probably just ascended to heaven, dude. They probably fucking, they probably opened up their mouth. Honestly, it probably burned the shit out of their eyes and they went straight to hell. That was hell. You sent those poor mice into hell. No, dude. they tasted that cherry. They suffered Think about just that. so you didn't want to fucking stomp their head. Stomping, dude, eight town stomping them would have fucking helped. It's it's just like that. You get you look at the step of, on a mouse's head and check out the bottom I, of your I shoes, know, dude. I know, it's horrific, I'm sure. I'm just saying, they probably open their mouths, dude. And we're, like mouse, Mice don't really get access to soda that much. They're more like crumbs, cheese vegetables they're probably like what's this <laughs> you think it was a nice i mean they usually drink yeah they usually drink like you know when like puddles like cars leak into a puddle and it's like oily rainbow puddle yeah that's what they drink that's what they drink on you think they drink that that's what they're drinking on they're sipping on that so they fucking sip an ice cold cherry coke. <laughs> ice cold cherry coke <laughs> I'd be sick if they didn't die if they were just passing out and waking up like an hour later like I had the most fucked up dream dude some retarded guy held me underwater (laughs) some retarded guy dunked me in a delicious drink (laughs) I don't know I guess if if I could pick how to die I think that would be it trapped on a glue trap 
And then someone just dunks me in soda. And die at my head. <laughs> I mean, I've actually, this isn't more of, this isn't really a death thing, but I've had a fantasy for as long as I remember about filling a swimming pool with jello and jumping in, seeing what happens. Dude, so I, I've been, I've been teasing you, dude, about my new world of tendies. You have. You've been hearing me drop breadcrumbs about mm, good boys, dude. I have, I have heard a couple of mm, so good boys. I've been working with Spud for the last two weeks, and like he would tell me about like just everything that's going on in his life, and he'll be like, "I don't understand, dude. I've been such a mm, good boy." And like after a, a couple of times of, I'm like, "Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? What's an mm, good boy?" And he just he broke it down to me. And then I did my own research, but it's a it's this thing on Reddit that's like a. It's like a subreddit of like a basically a joke that like there's like sixty eight thousand people playing like just fucking around with, and a mm, good boy is someone who sits in their parents' basement and plays like Minecraft, whatever the fuck those games are, all day, and looks at uh and like th- your mission is just to keep up your healthy g- mm, good boy frame, which is usually about like three hundred and forty pounds, dude, <laughs> <laughs> and all you eat is chicken tendies, dude. So like you're playing video games, and if you do enough like chores for your bitchy mommy. She'll get you get GBPs, which are good boy points, and she'll take you out and get you tendies and fries and do Mountain Dewy, and you dip them in honey mustard, dude. <laughs> but your dad, you're always your mom's always divorced. Your dad's Craig, who's a nerd, who's like, hey bud, how about you give up on the hentai sel- hentai selfies, dude, and start like clean. You need some discipline in your life, bud. <laughs> it's always a dad like, I know it's been hard for you, son. I'm gonna get you some tendies, and he takes you to like he tricks you and takes you to the army recruitment center, and you're like, <laughs> and you run away. <laughs> But then your mom's married to Chatty Daddy, who's like trying to get you to work out, and he's like, "It's disgusting. You look at anime porn all the time, dude. You're gross, dude. So you only you have to defend yourself from Chatty Daddy from your Nippon Steel, your Samurai Blade." <laughs> <laughs> well, then there's also your mom might marry a black dude. And that's Tyrone. And at first, Tyrone was like a bad guy, like Chatty Daddy. But for some reason, in the subreddit, Tyrone is morphed into Tyronius. Who's controller of all the do and tendies, dude? <laughs> and then his friend Darnell is this dude. Darnell is like, hey, I've heard you guys have been good boys. They give out GBPs. They control the good boy point supply. <laughs> and as long as you protect their protein powder, <laughs> which is a crack of cocaine, crack. <laughs> oh, it's like it's real racist. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're like, like, but it's it's just these are all accompanied with pictures. So I'll make a, a fucking diesel black dude in front of like just like chopping up fucking crack. <laughs> And it's like keep it, like protect like good boys protect our protein powder from the men in blue uniforms and like yes Tyronius thank you dude. <laughs> it's just like a bunch of kids from like Arkansas fucking around but this is the pictures are so fucking because at first Fuck. I'm like it makes sense because they're jacked and maybe it is protein powder but then when they started saying the boys in blue uniforms I was like I see something going on here you figure you cracked the case cracked the case dude it the pictures alone are so fucking funny dude. Yeah. And like they're always on the lookout for chats pretending to be mm, good boys and infiltrating them. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. <laughs> oh man, I literally I cry laughing every time. Yeah, I the internet that. is is uh, it's hilarious. The fact that there's seventy thousand people on that subreddit I know, that's blows my mind. It's dude. always so funny. It's like the same thing with Kekistan. Yeah, it's like it's just fucking hilarious. It is funny. It's like, dude, we got this amazing technological advance, the internet, yeah. and we've spent it. Like we use it just to be racist and like talk about chicken tendies and dude, it, it's, it's pretty funny. A lot of it is connected, but dude, the t- the pictures of the Jack Black dudes are so funny. Are they like the cartoon drawings. No, this is oh, like okay. a. Uh, I have to show you this just because it's fucking. So I've seen the Chad verse Virgin things. Have I've seen, seen that those? before. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I've seen that before. But this is uh It's like look, this is the thing right here. If you look down here. I said, you take good care of my protein powder, so I don't let my little good boy starve. <laughs> I don't know what that guy's doing. <laughs> and then there's your crazy Aunt Kelly, too. What's crazy it's Aunt like, Kelly? like, hey, kiddo, it's your crazy Aunt Kelly. I heard your bitchy mommy took your tendies, and I think that's frankly unacceptable. If you come over and clean my basement, clean my basement, <laughs> there'll be fresh tendies and honey mussy waiting for you in the dining room. Just promise not to tell your mom. <laughs> and it's this lady. <laughs> God, dude. <laughs> that's so funny. What a world. It, it, it is like, dude, I've been, it, the only thing that's funny about it for me is just saying mm, good boys now. Mm, good boys is I great. brought that home to my girlfriend for maybe 30 minutes before she was like, stop saying that. <laughs> Don't say mm, good boys anymore. You can't fucking. I can't even mention GPPs, dude. If I'm like, come on, I've stored up so many mm, good boy points, dude. She's like, stop. You do you use that to try to procure sex? Sometimes, yeah. I, I mean, I've just been like, I've been such a good boy, and I'm like, I'm storing up good boy points, and she's like, 
She like look at me, like don't say it. That's don't the, say that's that. the text conversation I'm having right now. How many come you, to Philly, dude? I have so many GBPs. You, <laughs> what the fuck? Have you have GBPs? Yeah, I fucking go. I go home all the time. She should bring you some tendies, dude. She should bring me tendies and, and some fucking crunchies, French fries, and some fucking head, some, dude. <laughs> Dude, he, he has gout. Mm, good boys. He's probably down there drinking sweet tea, dude, down in the south. Uh, somebody corrected us on that. Well, I think it's in my good boy. Like my lady, like my good boy. Oh. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I think you're right because a lot That's, of times it's M apostrophe good boy. My good boy. And I call it mm, good boy. Andrew's like, calling it I like mm, good boy. I like, I like mm, good boys. Mm, good boys is funny, but my mom, guess what my mom made me last night? Tendies? Guess what my mom. Tyson Tent. For don't. lunch, guess what my mom made me? What? Tyson Tendies? With? Honey Mussy? With Honey Mussy. Dude. Dude, my mom, I was, all right, so for real. How many GBPs did you store up? It was, I'm, I have so many GBPs because my sister is a complete loser. So now I have so many GBPs because <laughs> my, my sister is a failure. So they're like, <laughs> yo, Shane's the fucking best. They broke showed, out the dice. I showed my mom the fucking alt-right firefighter video I'm in. She was like, this is amazing. You're, I'm so happy you're, you got a job. Dude. My family's in disarray and me getting a job that provides for them. Exactly. Is is big. Someone's got a fork at Sam's Club, so, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, I had tons of GBPs from that. And then I was literally in my uh, parents' office on my mom's computer yeah. playing a computer game that I downloaded. And then my mom from downstairs was like, <laughs> she was like, she was like, Shane, I, do you want some chicken fingers? And I was like, oh, fuck. I'm a fucking good boy. <laughs> I was playing this computer game that I used to play as a kid. And I was, uh, oh my God. Yeah, she was like, do you want some chicken fingers? And she was like, your sister ate most of them. And I was like, God damn, bitch. Don't touch my fucking tenders. And I came downstairs and there was a packet of honey moss from fucking Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> it was full on fucking honey musk. Good oh boy, my god! Dude. What if the, that book, The Secret, is real? You spoke it into existence. I go fuck up. Um, good boy. Yeah. I died the game in um, Good boy. <laughs> my mom was like, "Chicken fingers are ready." I was like, "Yes." Tendies. Ding. Yeah, Toast dude. drama goes off. I was like, "I'll be right down." I had to finish my battle. Of course, I would finish my video game battle, and then I went and got tendies. <laughs> You went and fucking hung your Nippon steel blade, your samurai sword <laughs> back on the wall. <laughs> Buttoned up a dragon button down with Chinese letters. <laughs> <clears throat> they do that tips for no shit. Yeah, dude. It kills me. And then I was like, did did uh, did she finish all the tendies? Or I was like, did she eat yet? She's like, no, the rest you, of the tendies laughing? are all yours. Were you laughing? I almost whole... took a picture of it to send you. Because it was literally, there's a honey mussy pack. A packet from Wendy's. <laughs> oh, you got a shout out, bro. Oh, fuck. Well, I gotta look it up. I gotta look it up. I'll tell you about my fucking dream in the meantime. Tell me about your dream? I had a dream last night, dude. Oh, boy. It was pretty crazy. It was, a bank, it was a bank robbery dream. All right. Me. So I just worked with my boy Bert yesterday. We did a bunch of electrical work for this guy. So I was with him all day. So then I had a dream that me and him were in a bank. And it was a weird bank robbery setup where, like, we, we had guns on us, but we weren't, like, sticking them out and demanding money. We were just kind of, like implying that we were going to rob them but like not actually robbing them so we were in like a legal gray area so i like we were going up and uh we're like i met, I'd like to make a withdrawal and and bert was like big bills if you catch my drift and the lady was like i think i'm catching your drift and we're like yeah we want a lot of money right now and the lady just hit a fucking panic button all the doors blocked in and then like an armed guard came up and then it was like my dream kind of like max pain slowed down to where it was like do i start blasting people until they open this shit or do I try to dispose of this gun and run away? And then did my dream burst, lit up a security guard. So I just started firing the fuck off and I woke up. <laughs> I woke up being like, oh, I'm going to jail for life. And I woke up and was like, oh, God, thank God. And then Damn. I laid in bed like a psycho for the, like, the first 30 minutes of my day. Do you ever like, I don't know how to explain it, but like I had this dream. And then in my head, I'm like, well, if that had happened and we didn't shoot people, I could have, while the doors were barricaded, run, ran to the bathroom and taken apart the gun and flushed the separate components down the toilet. And then at that point, it would have been scot-free. So I was just like going over like how I would do that and how I would take how his... How would you flush a gun down the toilet? Yeah, like you pop the clip out. The clip go, the clips could probably go down the toilet. And I'm, I'm like, how many toilets do I have in this? I like planned out how to flush a gun down the toilet in a bank for like the first 30 minutes of my day. And I was like, all right, dude, I, I just got to get up. This is retarded. That is retarded. But I think I figured out how to do it. 
How to flush a gun down the toilet? You got to yeah, pop it apart in the components. One how down, do, flush. One should, down, flush. You need to tell me how to flush a dump down the toilet at <laughs> a fucking baby girl house. <laughs> That's the bank robbery I'm going through right now. How the fuck do I get sad about shit? But then it's like, yep, you do. Yeah, it's, it's a matter it's what, relative. Yeah, which is weird though to think about. Yeah, I remember I went through some pretty horrible things, and mm-hmm. that bothered me sometimes as much as like. Knowing I didn't have, like, I forgot to do the homework. Yeah, at for school. sure. Like, it would be the same level of anxiety. I don't know. Yeah, for the sure. The relativity of where you're at in your life when it comes to, like, a horrible thing happening. Yeah, it's like you're fucking baby dying. <laughs> like, four, like, you have All two. Right, that one's a little different than forgetting your homework, I think. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying it's like, you hear that, that and you're like, fuck, man. Dude, if I get, if I have, like. baby girl died, dude. Oh, that would be horrible, dude. I would, I would have to James Dean someone. If baby girls if die, baby you girl have to died? raise someone to a cliff. That's the only way you prove if your, your love for them. If your girlfriend dies, yeah, I mean, that's just like... You never really hear about it that much. People's girlfriends yeah. dying. And when they do, it's just like... I don't know. There's a dark side to me that thinks people just like... When that happens, it's like you just... The fucking pity titty just unleashes upon you, dude. You just have like a little locket around your neck and you're on a date. And like, who's that? And you're like, no one. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't know, man. You're just like, you're being a little cynical. You just on bring, that. No, you bring, you, 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 from then on, all you have to do to get pussy from then on is bring a, a, a girl to a pond on a date and just like skip stones and just be like, I come here sometimes and I think, and think about what? And be like, nothing, dude. Just clutch the locket and be like, you can't know. No one, no one can know. <laughs> My former love. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, terrible to make fun of. But. It's like, why are we going to a date to a half built house and you're like, what? <laughs> I was building this for. I was building it with my own. Never hands. mind. I would just run across a <laughs> <Yes>, field. <laughs> you can't know. I can't let people in. <laughs> That's like every fucking movie. <laughs> I can't, I can't that, get close. The girl just be like, all right, all right, <laughs> like run away. <laughs> like fuck, it didn't work. God damn it! If it turns out you just got dumped and you're lying about your girlfriend died, I'd be tight to get dumped and be like, what happened to your ex girlfriend? Like. Oh, she died. <laughs> she drove into a wall at Williams Grove. She fucking exploded at the track. She was a go kart racer. Uh, yeah, that's. I want to do it. Ex- be the worst thing in the world because, especially if it's a girlfriend that's like new, oh, Jesus or like Christ. within the first like two years. Yeah, where you're like, I love this person. Yeah, we're gonna get married. This is my lo- like. You know what I mean? Like, when yeah, you're for in, sure. Like, when you're in love, oh my god, like early in a relationship, if they fucking died. I'd be devastated, You'd be like, dude. that was my soulmate. I'd be devastated. Because sure. you didn't stay with him long enough to fucking hate him. For sure. You know? No, I hear what you're saying. Losing a girlfriend's got to be harder than losing a wife. <sighs> losing a wife must be like, fuck yeah. Loser, everyone's kind of looking at you like, motherfucker. Yeah, you you're mother- the jackpot, dude. <laughs> you motherfucker, dude. <laughs> yeah, but then again. Oh, my fucking wife would die. But no, if you, if you lose no, losing your... Obviously losing anybody's... No, but losing a girlfriend hurts. Losing saying. a girlfriend hurts more than losing a wife. I, I stand by that. I mean, lose. I don't know. It's two different lives because it's like you lose your wife. Depends yeah. how old you are and you lose your wife. If you're 34 and you lose your wife and you got like a four year old, five year old, seven year old, it's tough. That sucks. It's tough tomatoes. Yeah, you gotta but bounce. If on you're like fucking kids. 55 and your wife fucking clocks out early, it's time to fucking Party time, pop dude. on the Maui gyms, dude. Buy a speedboat and you're just like taking away <laughs> again. <in> my- <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. just leaving Las Vegas, but Key West, dude. You're just like, Ugh. dude. I can't even imagine what would happen to my dad. Yeah. Well, whatever. Fuck yeah. that guy. Yeah. I'm re- I read it before bed every night. And I'm just like, oh god. I'll be dead. Fuck it. True. But unless yeah. the Patreon keeps growing, and then you and me are able to fucking We're take control of our destiny. Dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> if the Patreon <laughs> continues at this rate. <laughs> By twenty one fifty, you and me are going to be immortal dictators. We could buy like you know we we could buy like a water filtration system, yeah, and live to like twenty one fifty seven or something. We could set up a commune, yeah, just Shat Nation. Yeah, we could. Who would you have in the in the? Because I know some Deep people State that get kicked num- out. Deep State is numbered. I know dude. some people. Deep, Deep State's State number be a fucking four star. He's general, one of your dude. dogs, dude. Spud Man, five star general. I don't know. The last thing I think we need is. Your followers. I'd have Billy drive the Mad Max. No, like, Billy's your followers out. would Billy's die, out. dude. Your followers Billy's would die. Out. My followers are the fucking dogs. Your followers dude. would be like, your oh my followers, god, the central no. air shut off. Uh. My followers are pussies. <laughs> your followers are retarded garbage men. No, dude. Exactly. <laughs> All my little brother would do is put like spikes I didn't call on him it. a retarded garbage man. Well, I don't know who else you're talking about. He'd put spikes on his fucking trash truck, dude. And we'd be just like, I'd have tons. My followers have more guns, more ammo. 
you guys would come out and hit their fucking AC unit and be like, what the hell, I, babe? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, fuck you, I'd be coming through on a trash truck, dude, just spikes on it. I don't know. I'd be hit, like, poof, hit your fucking thing. I think we'd be able to, I think my followers would be able to manipulate yours pretty easily. No way, We'd just start dude. tossing no in some way. conspiracy theories dude, and all you don't... guys would start no fapping dude, to, no to the conspiracy. No fucking way. I would way. be able to toss in some conspiracies. You think you're going to try About you to... and then they'd be, they, there'd be some dissent. I don't buy anything, dude. You I don't, don't buy no. I, I entertain <laughs> anything. I don't buy anything, dude. I I, right. inter, I investigate it to the fullest of my capabilities, but dude, you won't catch me on the hook at all. <laughs> all right, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I know you'll catch me real hard on the hook for like four months. No, your followers are the best. Mine would definitely lose. You guys are all tough. No, you guys are tough and like blue collar, and you all have guns and stuff. It's so cool because cause that way when the apocalypse happens, you guys are cool. <laughs> no, it's actually, sick it's just Hold on, fuck you I can't wait for our followers Civil War, dude <laughs> I'm trying to Dude, I got Dairy Queen Dairy Queen's with the dogs, dude What's DQ. he gonna do? What's Dairy Queen gonna do? Yeah Dairy Queen versus Billy Would be a fucking battle Billy would fucking Damn, that's sick You love your brother Billy would be like Thanos, dude That's cool you love your brother like that You, you think Dairy Queen I love my brother I love my little My little have you brother's met so Dairy Queen? Have you met Dairy Queen? <laughs> yeah, Dairy Queen's jacked as fuck You met him? Yeah Billy would fucking Bud fuck him. I don't know. Bud fuck him. Yeah, dude. Billy's a beast. But I never met Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen's like six eight, black, jacked as fuck. Dairy Queen's a black dude. Yeah. What? Yeah. How's he feel about Greece? Loves Greece. That was the first <laughs> thing he said. No, I never met Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I thought you think he did. Dairy Queen was. A, I thought he was a quarterback at Auburn at one point. <laughs> I just pictured like Ronnie Coleman, dude, fucking as Dairy Queen. I was like, holy fuck. Yeah, dude. Like, this changes everything, dude. Yeah, but you do have Spud, man. Spud's elite. Spud. But it's interesting you think all these guys would be a follower of yours. I'm not saying they'd be a follower. No, yeah, that's, that's I think where these you, are all, that's this where is you, anarchy. No, that's Your side you, is very anarchy. My, exactly, I'm going to have a tight dude. unit of fucking thick boys. Ours dude. is going to be splinter cell. You yeah. guys are going to be like fattened calves, We're going to divide and conquer. We're dude. the foxes on the perimeter, dude. You guys are in the coop. And Please. you're going to poke I'm gonna your fuck heads you out. up right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That would be awesome. <laughs> Episode 99 was just a fight. Never get to 100. <laughs> You'd get one of those fucking wrist locks or whatever you've been practicing on me. I quit jiu-jitsu already. You quit jiu-jitsu? <laughs> I was like, this sucks. Dude. When's the last time you jerked off? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, dude? Now that you're in school, you're allowed to jerk off. Oh, I jerk off, yeah, for sure. Right. I I'm, I should actually say this because I saw someone on Twitter the other day being like, my stomach hurts on OFAP. <laughs> I'm not with that. stomach no hurts on OFAP. <laughs> I'm not with that shit, man. I'm about backing up off of porn. Yes, I'm about that. Yeah. To try to use it to like chill out. Dude, I've been watching. I'm so I was. I told you my porn now was women. I tried to watch porn. it. I thought it's on paper that sounded great to me. I didn't like it. There's only like four good ones. Yeah, there's a lot only of more four gross. Good, there's only good four women watching porns that are pretty right, good. Send me the link, dude. A lot of them suck. Here's what I'm on you right now. You ever share a porn link with your friend? I've never done I that. I haven't. I thought about sharing this porn with you You recently, should have sent though. me the link. There's one I, I thought about. I've it's, never shared a link. The only reason I didn't share it with you because I jerked off to it four times in a row. And it's like, I'm like. That's your that's your bay, dude. Dude. You don't you want know anybody what else is? to jerk off You know to what this is? All right. It's a girl wearing vibrating panties next to her friend secretly. Oh, that's awesome. And she's like, her friend's like watching TV and she's like looking at a camera and be like, oh my God, fuck it. Oh my God. I've got, and, like, and then she just like this and shows a spread eagle and her yoga pants just go <laughs> and just get soaking wet. And I'm just like, <laughs> on my bed, just like, <laughs> dude, it's like, I can't stop watching it. Dude, post the link on the Reddit. I will. I'm absolutely <laughs> yeah, gonna, We're right. about to run a train on this, dude. <laughs> the whole fucking squad's going to jerk off to it. <laughs> this might be what unites the factions, dude. The factions are our link. This might be the Ark of the Covenant between dude. our factions, dude. We might have this porno. <laughs> dude, it's Fuck your factions, dude. <laughs> I hate your factions, dude. My factions not fat. We're fucking sick, dude. <laughs> you fat. said we were fat pussies. I said fat tinned. <laughs> no, nah, dude. We're jacked bros <laughs> that love sports. <laughs> We love football, dude. I didn't call your faction but we bad. love you. I'm we bad. love sports. My faction, your faction loves right. fiction. You my, love science no, fiction. My faction is. You guys are fucking nerds. My dude. faction are strong dudes with love handles. <laughs> <laughs> we have strong arms and little bits of love handles. <laughs> your side is fucking sick. Dude. I love your side, dude. I like your I side I just too. wish you wouldn't diminish my side. I, dude, you thought I started the Civil War. Oh, dude. fuck you, dude. I'm the North. You're the South. You sure. got also my side. <laughs> if you want to do this. 
My side's the North, dude. <laughs> no, I didn't call 100%. the North. 100%. I called no, the North. No, we outnumber you. We're Russia. Like 10 to 1, dude. No, you have like fucking, fucking five way. weirdos. No way. You have like five <laughs> retards on the internet, dude. I got out. I went out and got Bonfire and Legion of Skanks fucking armies coming yeah, down, dude. Yeah, but. I got the armies. Yeah, but we fight like ISIS, dude. Like, we're That's just fine. We're just going to be head journalists. <laughs> 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 I, already put, I already fucking. I already put something out there to Washington. What'd you put out? You know what I said earlier. Oh, that you were going <laughs> to kill the Clintons. <laughs> <Kill the> <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fuck. first. That's step one. We're not even worried about you guys. Dude. We're fucking. I got to handle. You're not even up. on our radar, dude. <laughs> you guys are the JV squad. <laughs> We're on to a fair one, dude. That's the fucking. That's the big time. Oh yeah. Once is, you get to the big show, that's like a, that I is have the big show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the big show, dude. The fuck love, Matt and Shane secret love, podcast. Dude, I love how much time I spend. We spend conversing about like how the apocalypse would go down. And, like, who would, who would, fare <laughs> who would well. win? I would. I would be dead. <laughs> who would win the apocalypse? I'd be dead right away. Anything I'd goes down. I'd probably kill myself. I no, I would stick around for the apocalypse. I would follow rules and get killed, for the most part. Like if <laughs> if the government was like, all right, everybody go into this room. I'd be like, all right, I'm going in there. And you feel like half the Earth is separate and blast off into the atmosphere, and like, oh fuck, they fucking left us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I'd fare. I'd definitely die. In though. the apocalypse, you'd be all right. We'd all be so different. Like, forget about how everyone acts at all. Yeah, would, just go feral right away. Oh, go turn nuts. Into fucking insanity. I don't know. You'd have to ditch your fucking bitch right away. Although she's got training right now, she might be a solid bitch to have. Yeah, I, I would. I, uh... I'll tell you what, baby girl would be. I would. I might kill her. you yeah. Well, you'd be if, allowed to if the sirens started going off. Yeah, they're like we're getting attacked. I'd drive over. To, I'd behead her. I would just and then fucking, just move on. Nah, I would just definitely pull my patriarchy card and just yeah. beat myself up into fucking. Just be like, take me back. Fucking save me. Take you back to who? We're not gonna do. We're fucking straight white men. If the apocalypse happens. They're just they would come out and fucking like spray you think us the, with fans. The straight white guys would. Yeah. Or wait, what? I don't understand. We would just get preferential treatment in the apocalypse. You think? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, I was trying to figure it out. Yeah, I was I like, what, what, what yeah. do you mean? I got uh, it. I got it. You said white people are better. No. That's what you said. You said no. if if all things failed, straight white of, men would what be. What I was really doing was just making fun of your white privilege, dude. My white privilege? Yeah, dude, I was making fun of fucking. Please. <laughs> Please. 